Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a face uh, by constructing it according to the planes of the head, the outsides, and we're going to see if we can come up with some interesting designs. This is a basic looking head, and it needs a little work. It's nice, but it's very plain, and I kind of want to give this guy a little more character, so we'll, we'll get into that. Here's, we'll put the nose up out first, so we have the direction where he's going, and I'm going to give him world-weary eyes. He's a world-weary teenager. We'll darken these in a little later. He's uh, not too happy. And we'll bring this down to a chin over here and bring it up like that straight line rather than a gradual line. Now that means that this neck doesn't work from that angle. We're going to have to bring this back here. So he's now leaning a little bit forward. Stick the ear back here. So now we have this interesting plane here. And the back of the head has to have a little more mass, so we're going to bring that down this way. Oh, and since we're doing that, then we just connect the two, you see, like this. We look for places to connect a concept, and that line is really concept. This straight line here. And this is a nice line here to follow through with a floppy hair, floppy hairstyle. A little bit where the sideburns would go. So let's give him a little turtleneck here. By the way, when you draw a turtleneck, the neck is round, and because it's round, the turtleneck itself has to be round instead of, instead of cut off straight. That's a, that's a little hint that might help. He's got poor posture, the way I did as a teenager. Let's add a little squiggle in here. All right, now let's darken some things in and see what we, what we have when we're finished. Like the thick lines, it gives it sort of a retro look. Covering a lot of the forehead with that floppy hair. You don't have to indicate a part. If you want to, it would go somewhere on there. Let me give him a little less back. Now we can give him just a little tweak of the expression. So he's just slightly curious. One eyebrow goes up, the other's down. Let's shade in here. And there's the idea of how to create a character by shifting the planes.